Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about today is a yet another backfire handed to the Biden administration and the DOJ at the request of the gun rights activists, you and myself, on the daily, refuting their attempts at manipulation. Because remember that judge that gave all the gun rights to immigrants and migrants who were not citizens? Yeah, that was supposed to be red meat with a little trap of hook inside of it. Well, we didn't bite, and now it's going to backfire in a glorious fashion because the Biden administration and the DOJ are pushing back against an Obama-appointed judge, which is putting them in a bit of a pickle when you talk about the two hot-button topics of the 2A in immigration. Oh, you guys are going to love every second of this. It's all linked right down there in the description box, and please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on if you are down to spread freedom nationwide on with us every single day and the content today is brought to you by sportsman guide now if you're looking for anything for your outdoor for the spring season sportsman guide is a one-stop shop you're talking about everything from the biggest brands from irish setter to nomad to vortex anything that you need to do on the outside sportsman guide is the place to go and a little birdie told me anything from walkers like the hearing protection if you're looking for it this april for your spring outings uh, April 14th through 27th, you're going to get 25% off. Check it out at your leisure. you got plenty of time to plan, and I hope that helps you guys out. But now let's get to the content because, oh, the backfires are lining up on the daily because this isn't the gun rights fight of uh, 20 years ago. We're new and improved, baby. Check this out. Migrants' gun rights at issue in appeal. U.S. urges reversal of cases dismissal. Dismissal? Dismissal. So remember, some backstory to understand, this is so key. An Obama-appointed, left-leaning judge granted non-citizens gun rights, which are afforded to citizens in the United States, as a red meat trap to, to basically entrap gun rights activists to say, look, look, amazing gun rights spreading for all, all the while reinforcing the idea that migrants don't need to be citizens, they can just have naturalized rights and do other things like voting. We ain't going to fall for it, boo, because this is a big thing. Now, because we didn't fall for it, the Biden administration and the DOJ is now asking for an appeal to overrule the original, and it puts them in a bit of a bind because now they have to defend the idea that migrants can't have 2A rights because 2A is bad, according to them, and at the same time, they have to dance between the idea of they're not migrants and they don't have citizenship, which conflicts with the left. Guys, like th this is glorious. Let's keep going. I'm going to do a little bit of out of order here because I think this is a very important point to illustrate that gun rights activists did not take the bait on this. Listen to what GOA said here. Those judges have focused less on the Second Amendment and more on the immigrants who are in the U.S. illegally, finding that they are outside the definition of the people that the amendment grants the right to bear arms. This is where the GOA comes in. That was just the lead in. That argument resonated with Aidan Johnston, Director of Federal Affairs at Gun Owners of America. Quote, illegal aliens, people who are unlawfully present in the United States, are not part of the people, he said. He said Judge Coleman was an anti-gun and was willingly misinterpreting the Supreme Court's cases to try to upend the Second Amendment. And that's exactly what she was doing. It didn't make sense at all. I covered that in my video, me and Tim on our video on Second Legacy. It does not make sense for a leftist Obama-appointed judge to pass a very extreme interpretation of gun rights in the favor of gun rights against citizenship unless there's an ulterior motive because she cited the Bruin decision. And we know how the judges have been resisting the Bruin decision on the left. Well, a pretty good way to upend the Bruin decision and bring questions up to bear would be to give an extreme ruling, which would give people who don't have constitutional protected rights, rights, and then all of a sudden say, what now, Bruin? It doesn't say you can't do it against people with no rights. You see the trap and the trick? Well, now it put Biden and the DOJ in a very awkward position. We don't want guns, but we also want rights for the, the migrants. See how that conflicts? I'm telling you guys, the left cannot stand when you put all the ideas together. They are only individual focus group tested. Let's keep going. Let me show you some backstory here. The federal government is appealing a judge's ruling that found the Constitution allows some immigrants without documentation to possess guns. Uh, yeah, let's just call them non-citizens. Let's be nice. Plowing new ground in the quickly evolving debate over Second Amendment rights. Yeah, well, they didn't expect to get caught up in the immigration thing either. 
The Justice Department filed its notice of appeal Thursday with Judge Sharon Johnson Coleman, whose ruling last month dismissed charges against an undocumented immigrant, man, they're nice and flowery around this language, aren't they? Who'd been prosecuted for gun possession after he started blasting away at cars driving by him in Chicago's Little Village neighborhood. Again, can't make it up. Chicago, the commission of a felony attempting to shoot people, and a leftist Obama judge decides that, well, they have gun rights too. Because Bruin decision. Duh. Nanny nanny boo boo. Come on. Anyway, let's continue. Judge Coleman said that a 2022 Supreme Court case upended away a long-standing federal ban on immigrants who were in the U.S. illegally possessing guns, effectively erasing the case against the defendant. There it is right there. She even cited the Bruin decision. And it's kind of obvious what they were doing. I mean, you had a lot of the initial, the, excuse me, initial, oh my gosh, initial knee-jerk reaction was to say, hey, 2A rights won one, but we didn't take the bait just like we don't take debate in a lot of things anymore because we're just better. To be quite honest, like I said, this is not the gun rights activist of the 1980s. This is legit, like we're in this scrappy little fight together, you and I, all day, every day. But you saw a lot of people resisting. I know Jared resisted it. I know that, uh, goodness gracious, I'm blanking on his name, Warrior Poet Society. I'll, I'll come to it in one second. He resisted it. Almost all of us resisted it because we saw what it was. It's a blanket attempt to try to trick gun rights owners and advocates into accepting a broader vision of the country of which they'll just vote away your gun rights at the end after they get it anyway. Anyway, let's continue because this is where it starts to fall really apart and they get really uncomfy on the left. Oh my goodness. This law professor, because I don't want to, at the University of Colorado uh, Boulder said it wasn't surprising that the feds appeal, uh, appealed. It can be a highly impactful ruling, and I'm sure the government has a significant interest in wanting to get a ruling that maintains the integrity of the federal firearms regulation system, he told the Washington Times. Under existing law, the migrants are one of a series of categories who uh, what's known as prohibited purchasers or individuals who are not allowed to obtain or purchase a gun. Among the other bans are felons, those with intellectual disabilities, drug users, and those dishonorably discharged from military service. So, that's the backstory here, and they're not surprised that the Biden administration um, went for the appeal because they want it up higher in the courts. This was a plant from the very beginning. Worst case scenario, she looks like an idiot. Best case scenario, they get a broader conversation around immigration, who gets rights, who doesn't get rights, at the cost of the gun, at the, based on the backs of the gun right owners and gun right advocates, because they thought we'd bite and take it and take the hook all the way down to the sinker, whatever. You get it. I actually do love fishing, but I just messed up that quote. But the whole point here is going back to what Aiden Johnson just said in the GOA. Gun Owners of America nailed it. This was a game. This is a willful anti-gun judge appointed by Obama who tried to set a trap for gun rights owners. We denied it. We said, no, nah, we're good, thanks. And then the Biden administration said, well, crap, now we got to undo this. And they spend all their time trying to undo this, all the while trying to dance the ne or thread the needle between 2A rights for nobody and immigration rights for all. I mean, like, it literally is as simple as that. Oh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch when left starts eating left. It's great because they really think we're idiots, but we're not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Brayden. See you later.